Hello, I'm Connor. I'm new to this channel, and before I start on the school topic, I'm just going to give a little information about myself. So, I'm Connor. I'm 14. Uh, I'm pre-everything. Pre-surgery, pre-T. I'm not taking hormone blockers. Uh, I live in the Minnesota area, and yeah, that's really all you need to know. So, school. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is being social in school. So I know the transgender bit, especially if you're stealth, uh, can be an issue because it can be very nerve wracking. And for me, I just transitioned this past June, June 6th. So high school was really my first time talking to people who, a lot of people who didn't know me previously. And also over the summer, coming out to so many people at once, everyone I talked to, it was the subject would eventually come up and also with a lot of my old school friends we just either things kind of changed or a lot of my old school friends uh, are girls so we didn't have a lot in common anymore uh, so I still went to any kind of parties or movies that we all went to as a group but one-on-one -on -one, uh, there wasn't much for us to do so I kind of uh, isolated myself a little bit I spent a lot of time in the house on the computer and I didn't really have an issue with that. I don't think I was sad or depressed. I just preferred spending my time alone. I think during that period of time where everyone I knew was kind of making their own sort of transition and adjusting to me being Connor. But then when high school rolled around, I had kind of lost a lot of my social skills. So talking to other people was just really strange and difficult even without the transgender piece added in. So next, I'm going to talk about being out in school or being stealth. And I think a lot of it does depend on your situation. I do know somebody who moved to a different state, I think, with their family for, I think, several reasons. But one of them was so they can kind of have a fresh start. And so they went stealth. But in my situation, I have a lot of friends who knew me previously at the school and a lot of people I kind of know who knew me previously at the school so I can never really be completely stealth so what I did was kind of somewhere in between and then I got outed by rumors oddly enough my teachers know because I sent them an email and that all went over pretty well and the reason I did that was just kind of to have the teacher know in case any kind of issue popped up that was transgender related they I wouldn't have to tell them on the spot that I was trans because that would just be very very strange the principal also knows and so does, I think, one of the counselors that I talked to about name challenges. And if I can just quickly talk about names. At private schools, I think most private schools, the name isn't an issue. And they can change it right away without many problems. Public schools, on the other hand, if you don't have a legal document, I don't think they can legally change your name. So that can be an issue. But for me, it wasn't really a problem. Even though I wasn't able to legally change my name right away because the state was shut down. So uh, I was lucky that the school had no issues with that. Between stealth and being out, really it is just your own personal opinion and whatever you think is best for your own situation. But I would always be ready for something to happen. For example, uh, somebody I knew, we weren't close friends, uh, but they and I don't know who else started spreading rumors about me, which I heard about I think like one month into school in like the beginning of October when we had homecoming we had a bonfire before and some of my really good friends who went with me to middle school came up and talked to me and said that people were finding out and spreading rumors and my suggestion with rumors is to just you know do what you can but don't try to control them because that's impossible and you'll drive yourself a little crazy trying to do that and you won't be very happy I remember the I think after that weekend that I had heard the rumors were coming out, I was really, really just paranoid and kind of depressed for about a day. But then I quickly got over it and realized, you know, I can't worry about this. And everything was okay. So next subject is bathrooms. For me, bathrooms, I have to use the handicapped one. I think I would prefer to use the boys' bathroom, but all in all, the handicapped bathroom, especially with the rumors coming around, is a lot safer for me even though I haven't been approached by anyone yet. And the reason I have to do that isn't because the school has anything against me being in the right bathroom, 
but they just say that technically, if I were using the boys' bathroom, any other guy could request to have a key to the handicapped bathroom because they didn't feel comfortable with me around, which sucks to hear, but that's just the way it is. So I don't use the bathroom often because of that. I usually will during lunch or study hall, not in passing periods because that's when a lot of people are around, but during lunch there's not really anyone in the hall, so I can just go in and go out, and I'm usually okay. I think that's really all I have to say about school. So I hope you enjoyed this first video, and I will see you next week.